Hundreds of car break-ins reported across the low country this year, many of them in the same neighborhood. News the same night. Yeah, it's amazing how this happens and it's all concentrated in one area. News 2's Colby Thielen joins us in studio now to show us a campaign that police are using to help limit that number. Colby, it involves an alarm, but not necessarily the one in your car. Brad, that alarm right here on your phone. Because while you might not be able to change a criminal's actions or their decisions, there are things you can do to slow them down or prevent them from getting you. It may seem simple, but it's advice police reiterate time and again. Make sure that there's no opportunity there. Opportunity for moments like this one, where thieves prowl neighborhoods searching for cars left unlocked. There's always a certain number in almost every neighborhood that do that. So it's a lot of averages for Pretty much, there are folks that are forgetful or their kid goes to the car to get a book bag and they forget to lock it back. Or sometimes they even leave the hatch open bringing in the groceries. Sergeant Trevor Sheeler with the Charleston Police Department says they see it all the time, but it happens everywhere. According to Community Crime Map, hundreds of cars across the Tri-County area were broken into this year alone. Nearly a third of them were stolen altogether. The big thing is making yourself a lockup routine around your home and your car at night where you're always double checking things. That's why CPD started the hashtag 9 p.m. routine, a social media campaign reminding people that a second to click can save hours, days, even weeks of frustration. Make the lights blink and the horn honk and you know that it's all secure. Now, depending on what you had stolen out of your car, it could be longer than many weeks, right? If it's something valuable or right. something important to you. But we did talk to people that said, hey, I lock my car every night. And I had somebody come by and smash my window and steal my things. Yeah. So we asked Sar Sergeant Sheeler about that. He said that, you know, when it comes to the smash and grab, it's very, very rare, at least in the city of Charleston. But it can happen. He said a way to limit that is just hiding those valuables, right? Anything that a thief can see, what they're doing is sort of weighing Okay, if that alarm goes off, is that in the is what's in the car worth taking and making a run for it? That could even be just a, a phone charger. Well, you think yeah. you did it. You mm -hmm. always think you did yeah. it, but we were just talking yeah. in the commercial break. It's like, well, did I? Yeah, I'm I, I, if I, I do that. I even lock my car in the garage. Right. I just, it's just a habit. I yeah. mean, there's been times where you know I've gone to my car and I've been sure that I locked it, mm -hmm. absolutely positive, and I get out there later and it's unlocked. I'm like, wow, what in the world? The is problem that? I have is when I go to the gas station. Whenever I do go to the gas station, right. and I go run inside. <laughs> Hey, what is that? Oh, <laughs> time to go lock my car. This is what the 9 p.m. routine is for. Oh, yeah. you should have given us a heads up about that. Uh, see? Good morning. <laughs> 518 routine. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks, Kobe.